there's an old Negro spiritual that says, I don't feel no ways tied. Bricks laid, pathways paved. She was, she is, midwife, Maud Callan. Born Maud Evelyn Callan, November the 8th, 1898, in Tallahassee, Florida. She was orphaned at the age of six and raised by her uncle, Dr. William Gunn. She studied nursing at Florida A&M University and trained to be a nurse midwife at Tuskegee Institute in Tuskegee, Alabama, where renowned scientist and professor George Washington Carver developed and implemented his extraordinary research. In 1923, Maud was called as a missionary midwife to Pineville, South Carolina, and in 1936, she joined the Berkeley County Health Department as a public health nurse. Pineville, South Carolina, Hell Hole Swamp was a sore for the state. Some called it the back door to the backwoods of bootleggers, the terrain of the rattlesnake, and anyone entering these parts was not to be reckoned with. At the edge of the Hell Hole Swamp, houses were lit by oil lamps, no electricity, and no roads paved. It was poverty stricken it was predominantly African-American. And down dirt road number 45, there was a connection to the home of Maud Callan, a road that she traveled daily, leading to a population of 5,000. It was a place that no other doctors would go. History tells of a night when a woman by the name of Alice Cooper was struggling in labor, being assisted by a new midwife armed with a pair of old rusty scissors. She noticed trouble she sent for Maud. There were only nine midwives in South Carolina, 300 in the nation. Although she had delivered countless babies, many believed that a middle-aged Negro woman without a medical degree had no business meddling in such affairs. With work days as long as 16 hours, she readied by lamplight, as she always did. Maud's tools included a thesoscope, gloves, and about $5 worth of items, such as clean cloths, bits of cotton, scissors, cord ties, Lysol, surgical gown, mask, and blood pressure cuff. Her salary was $225 a month. Maud helped take an enormous amount of work off the shoulders of the county. At one time, she gave 810 typhoid shots and afterward went and delivered another baby. In a 12-page spread done by Life Magazine and the legendary photographer W. Eugene Smith captured the historical elegance of Maud in her prime. He said, in the midst of a racist, segregated South, I wanted to tell the story of a remarkable woman doing a remarkable job in an impossible situation. The work of Maud caught the eye of many Donations poured in and she was able to open up her own clinic, the Maud Callan Clinic. For over 50 years, Maud helped deliver over 2,000 babies in South Carolina. She retired in 1971. Her work and generosity were recognized with an honorary doctorate from Clemson University, and she was inducted into the South Carolina Hall of Fame. A poem written by Jean Briner, registered nurse. It says, I speak of a woman, blue black midwife, of April fog, flood, swamp, and July nights. When Maud Callan's hands layers newsprint in circles as a weaver works her loom, slow to catch blood straw, placenta, save sheets. I seen kitchen lamplight, clean cloths, Lysol, cord ties, gloves, gown, and mask. She readies all for this crowning First mother, purple cries. I sing of sweat and gush and tear, open thighs. And triangle moons, ringlet, charcoal hair. I sing 16 hour days, malls, tires bare. Mud country roads, no man doctor for miles. I sing transition, collapse of mountains. Crimson alluvian, the sun untangled. Maul died at her home in Pineville, South Carolina on January the 25th, 1990. She was, she is, midwife, Maud Callan.